All right, folks, listen up. Today's video is going to be a great one. Hi, my name is Lisa and welcome to Zero Waste Closet. Whether this is your first time visiting Zero Waste Closet or you're a returning guest, thanks so much for being here. Zero Waste Closet is all about you expressing your own authentic style, not wasting any time or any space on items and concepts that do not work for you. So guys, I had a lot of fun making today's video. It is about a topic that I totally love that is completely in sync with what we talk about all the time on this channel, and that is finding items and finding concepts that are multifunctional for you so that your closet doesn't get overly cluttered with things that don't work. And so today we're gonna look at one of my favorite styles, and that is the slip dress. We're gonna explore 10 different ways that you can style a slip dress. And I love this topic because again, we're looking at something that you can get so much wear out of. It is a seasonless idea, as you will see when we start looking at different ways to style it. And it's just one of those pieces that's totally timeless. So I feel like every gal, it doesn't matter what your style is, could really benefit from having the perfect slip dress or maybe two in her closet. I also wanna tell you that if you do not already own a slip dress, one of the best ways to score a fabulous one and to start to experiment with the concept is to shop secondhand. I've actually gotten my very favorite slip dresses off of the site ThreadUp. You hear me talk about ThreadUp all the time. And there are so many other secondhand sites or secondhand stores out there, but really go exploring because slip dresses can come in many different kind of shapes, sizes, silhouettes. You can find find ones that are long, you can find others that come really just right at the top of the calves or just below the knee. So you've got to explore what works for you based on your body type and your sense of style. They also come in lots of different fabrics. Um, you know, the silk slip dress is a wonderful concept. Only challenge I sometimes find with silk slip dresses is that they work great when you put something on top, but they don't always leave you as much maneuverability when you're trying to put something underneath as you will see when we start exploring some styling concepts. So this is where I say it might be worth it to have a couple of different slip dresses in your closet as I do um, just to work with some of these styling ideas. So without further ado, let's go. Let's look at 10 different ways, 10 different ways that you can style a slip dress. Okay guys, so concepts one and two when it comes to styling your slip dress involve some sort of t-shirt. So I love the idea, and this is really one of the simplest ways to look really on trend and up to date, although it's not even a trend, this is really just a concept that is timeless, and that is to take your t-shirt and put it underneath the slip dress. So, you know, a striped t-shirt can be really cute. I love, if you've watched some of my previous capsule videos, you'll see that I love taking the idea of a long or short sleeve bodysuit, putting it under a slip dress body these suits are great just because you don't get the bunching up of the shirt so it's really nice very easy idea and then from there you can go anywhere you can take this look really dressy by throwing on a pair of high-heeled booties you can take it really casual by throwing on some sneakers a second super easy way to style your slip dress is to take a t-shirt and throw it over the top instead of underneath. So I love, and I do this often, I love taking a long sleeve tee, putting it over the top and then just knotting it at the waist or even a short sleeve, sometimes even a tank top, concert tee or graphic tee, throwing it over the top, knotting it at the waist. You can play with contrast like we talked about in one of our previous videos where you do something super casual like that and then you do throw on the pair of heels just for a little bit of irony and fun and edginess or again if this is just going to be a casual weekend look or just a going out with friends look throw on some super cute stylish sneakers and you've got yourself just a great slip dress concept number three 
is the use of some sort of turtleneck sweater. I guess it doesn't have to be a turtleneck, but to me, that is just such a fun look. You could do like a crew neck sweater over the top. Frankly, you could probably even do a V-neck, but let's just go with the concept of the turtleneck chunky sweater thrown over the top. This is an absolutely awesome way to take that slip dress that got you through all of the warm weather months and suddenly transition it into the fall and winter months. So throw over your chunky sweater over the top and then put on maybe a pair of tall boots or maybe a pair of ankle booties. This is a really great look that I do believe could transition even to potentially um, a more casual office environment, lunch out, dinner out. It's just one of those um, combinations that I have a feeling I personally am going to be living in all winter long. Fourth fabulous way to rock your slip dress is to take some kind of blazer and throw it over the top. And this will work with a boyfriend blazer. This could work with even a fitted cropped blazer. Any manner of blazer will do. This is a super edgy way to bring in that more masculine silhouette and combine it with something very feminine, very silky. So I love this. I think I'll be playing with this this winter. This is definitely one for, I would say, maybe the more adventurous uh, gal out there who doesn't mind playing with the idea of contrast. A fifth really easy way to style your slip dress is to take some sort of long cardigan worn open and wear it over the slip dress. It doesn't have to be a chunky knit necessarily, could be any fabric, something close to the length of the slip dress. Throw it over that and pair it with some type of slight heeled booty. Very cute, very edgy, very easy to pull off. One warning I have here is unless you're six feet tall and have a really long body, I would stay away from pairing this look with anything flat on the bottom, whether it's loafers or ballet flats or sneakers, just because you've already got the long silhouette of the dress paired with the long cardigan, you definitely need something to elevate this look. But this is something that I think is just so easy to also transition from daytime to nighttime. So you've got a kind of casual daytime look or something a little more pulled together. And then at night you can remove the cardigan and now you're left with a sexy slip dress. Number six is kind of a variation on that same theme, except instead of going with the long cardigan that is roughly the length of your slip dress, now you are going for something more like an extra long trench. So something below the hemline of the slip dress. Doesn't necessarily have to be a trench coat, could just be a very long duster because you wanna keep it on while you're indoors. You guys, this is such a chic, elegant, very kind of Parisian chic look. Once again, as with the last concept, try to pair this with something that has some sort of heel. And if you're not into heels, at least just a little bit of a stacked heel, something that is easier on the foot, or perhaps um, a, a taller wedge, a long boot, tall boot could look nice with this. Concepts seven and eight play off of the idea of a button down men's style shirt. So in number seven, and this is again, a very wearable concept, kind of like the t-shirt tight over the top. Now you wanna take a button down shirt and you're just gonna knot it at the waist, roll up the sleeves, and you have such a great, easy, wearable, versatile look. I love doing this. This is one that I use all the time. And again, with this one too, you can really change this up from dressy to casual simply by changing up the shoes or changing up the jewelry. Using that same button down shirt, we look at concept number eight, which is the idea of taking the shirt and wearing it underneath the slip dress. So if you remember back to the beginning, I was talking about the idea of the silk slip dress and how it can be every once in a while a little bit limiting just because they're not always easy to layer underneath. They're a little more form fitting to the body. So that may be the case here. You may need to go for a different fabric, something a little bit roomier. I love taking either a pinstripe or a like a crisp white striped shirt or a white shirt or um, you know even maybe a blue button down shirt something collared putting it under the slip dress rolling up the sleeves and then a pair of stacked heel booties 
Oh my gosh, what a great look. Or again, back to the just cute sneakers thrown on with it. Fabulous look, something that you could take to maybe an edgier, more fashion forward business environment if you wanted to. Number nine, this is for the edgy kind of rock and roll girls out there. And this is a look I love. This is a very kind of like either New York street chic or Parisian chic look, whatever you want to see it as. But it's definitely one of those where you'll see a lot of this on Pinterest. And that is your silk slip dress paired with a leather or faux leather bomber jacket on top. Love that. Again, very wearable, really nice going into fall, winter. Great paired with a little cute uh, pair of white sneakers. Once again, thrown on with booties. Just super versatile. This is a great look to travel with too because I almost never travel anywhere without a leather jacket on hand just as a layering piece. And when you throw in the slip dress, you got the leather jacket, you got an outfit right there. And last but not least, you really couldn't style a slip dress without at least showing that beautiful slip dress on its own. So I love the idea of a slip dress paired with some sort of fabulous belt. And it could be a very simple, plain belt. It could be a thick belt. You could do a skinny belt. And I love taking skinny belts. And instead of just looping them through properly, I like to just take them and tie the belt um, and to a knot. And that just always makes a cute look or even some sort of fun embellished belt. You can do that. And then to be ironic, you can put sneakers on with it. Or of course, this can be an evening out look. We were talking about travel in the last concept well the slip dress is like the ultimate travel piece if you're going somewhere and you're not anticipating dressing up very much but maybe you think you might have one or two really nice evenings out throw your slip dress in throw a couple of belts in great pair of shoes and you got a great look without all of the bulk if you guys liked this video you like the idea of exploring a certain silhouette and all of the different ways you can style it please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to zero waste closet just because this is uh, something that encourages me, gives me ideas, lets me know that this is adding value to your lives and um, you'll get notifications too when new videos come out. And if you have other silhouettes that you guys would like to see styled, let me know. There is nothing more fun for me than having to start to come up with creative ideas. I always call it stump the stylist. Give me something and ask me to style it 10 ways and I am on it. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a great week.